Are you using the Pattern Method when organizing your Obsidian? If you are, I think there's a way to make your organization process faster and simpler. And that's with the help of automation. So the Pattern Method is great because it removes some of the thinking that you have to do when organizing your files. And it also makes it easy to find your files later on. But I think there's still one big issue with it, and that's that you still need to do the organizing yourself. And that's where I think File Organizer 2000 can help, an Obsidian plugin that I built with my brother. So I don't use Para for my main vault, at least yet, but I did some testing and it worked great. So this is how it looks like in my vault setup with the Para system. So here I have a note about the Spitfire, a British plane that some argue saved Britain from the Nazis during World War II. And with File Organizer 2000, I can open the organizer or the assistant view. And then it loads folder recommendations. For example, here it recommends resources slash aviation history, but it also gives two other suggestions. So I can just choose the best one for me. Here I'm going to choose aviation history. And now you can see that my note was organized into the correct folder in resources. But there's actually also another method that is more automated. And it's this one. So in File Organizer 2000, we have this folder called Inbox. And I'll show you what happens when I use it. So if I take this note and I send it to the Inbox folder using a hotkey from the plugin called Send to Inbox, what happens is that it's also processed and you can see now it organized my note into the File Organizer 2000 folder. And yeah, the Spitfire document is here still in aviation history. And I can do this with all my notes. So for example, here I have this note about my expenses. I can just select it and then I press the hot key I set up. For me, it's control I. And if we wait a little, we can see that it was organized. First, it created this subfolder professional finance and it puts that note in it. So let's just do the same for this one. This one is about File Organizer 2000, which is a project. So if I go here, I'm seeing it here. So just to show you that it can be super useful for a method like Para. And this is how all of this works. So if I go into settings, I go into the File Organizer 2000 settings and go into customization and I scroll down the settings. I have this custom folder determination instructions. And here I entered instructions so that it follows the para method from Tiago Forte. So here I added example, I also told you that which structure to follow as well as a bunch of examples. I won't go into all the details here, but if you want to use it, I'll just like copy it and paste it into the YouTube description or I'll just leave a link. But basically it's all information about how I want the AI to determine which folder to send my files to. In this case, it's for the para method, but you could configure it to any method you want. So as I said, in my case, I used it in a test vault that I created specifically for this. And it does really great so far. And I think I will actually continue using it. So I think it can be great for anyone who's thinking about creating a vault with the para system. But I'm also super curious to know how it works with those with larger vaults that have the para method system. And if you have another system, you can also customize those options to fit your system. Let me know if you think it can make a difference and subscribe for more if you're interested in this type of content.